Hello once again, everybody, for episode three and hopefully the finale of the Great Plateau. Let's see. So, a actually, after the, um, yeah, no, let's just get the heck off this place after we're done with the shrines. And I believe I'm going to need my protection right around, my cold protection, that is. Yeah. So, here we go. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I uh, I installed a sound replacement pack that um, uh, puts in music from older Zelda games. So what you're hearing right now is called the Serenade of Water, but, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Ouch. <laughs> okay, there was a treasure chest somewhere. I'm not gonna bother to go back for it, though. Let's just get to the top of the hill. This mountain here. I have to get to the top of it before my health runs out because there's actually an item. Because there's there's one there's two ways to get the one doublet that this uh, that the um, old man gives you, which is the you do the cooking thing, which I didn't bother to do, or you climb to the highest peak of the plateau, and you get it from him up here for being brave and all that. So. Almost there. I mean, like... Man. <laughs> Hello. You know, this game brings me back to moments. <laughs> I'll tell you later. Ah, I enjoy gazing out at the world from here. Yeah, breathtaking mm. view. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map as a marker. Hmm. You did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. <laughs> Please, take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. So, instead of using the uh, spicy berries or whatever, spicy peppers I mean, <laughs> we can uh, just put this on. Hmm? I assume you want to try it on right away, yes? I thought you might be eager to see how it looks. It's quite fetching. Well, I suppose it matters not. It is yours now. Do take care to put it on before you get too cold, though. Which is in 54 seconds. Yay. Man, he's right. This is like, incredible. Um. Yeah, so let's... Let's get rid of this pin. Because we can see that it's right there. And I'm going to take a look for more shrines. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Shrines, shrini shrines. Um, we will probably do shrine hunting down below. I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, we'll do shrine hunting down at the wall before we fly down, though. But. Yeah. Just pretend. 
pretend I never said anything. Okay. Okay, so let's head back down now, and then we'll sort sort everything out. Man. This brings me right back into playing when I was younger, like um, playing Twilight Princess on the Wii in the basement. This will be fun. Let's sled across down there. Um, actually, before we do that, uh, this will be a better slope. But before we do that, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a Korok seed right here. So, the game will give you environmental puzzles like this every now and then for uh, Korok seeds. So let's just do this and then be on our way. Yay. Okay. And now, sledding time. Fuck her off, please. Go. Hmm. Perhaps this episode we will have time to do a couple extra things on, um, here. Cryonis. She could slate authenticated distilling rune. I kind of imagine it like having the voice of Phi from Skyward Sword, which is another Zelda game where your helper, you get a helper in a couple Zelda games. Your helper is this robot. There we go. Rune extracted. So, this just gives us ice pillars if you didn't catch that, which you probably did. Ah. Come on. I swear I'm not bad at video games. No, I made it too far. Away. Okay. Finally done all the shrines. Uh, 
Now, one other thing I could do is, do you guys want a face cam? I mean, I'm not sure if I really want one, because my room is a disaster. But, um, yeah, 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 I get the shrine thing. Um, I don't know. Do you want face cam or do you not want face cam? Because I'm pretty ugly, too. Just kidding. I don't know what I think. Old man. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> Extraordinary. Hmm. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where the two lines connect to the shrines would cross. There. I will be waiting. Okay, so he's magical. Okay, let's try not to die. Ah! I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. There I go. <laughs> First death of the game. Uh, this is not too far away. Just at the shrine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, well, let's forget about that. Hey, let's steal this guy's roast, actually. Steak. I could really go for a steak right now, actually. Okay, so I think... Yeah, there I am. R.I.P. <laughs> so where the four dots intersect. So one goes across like this, and the other goes across like... Oh, it's the Temple of Time. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Okay. Um, we're honestly quite far away, so first fast travel of the day is going to be cheating. Okay. Uh, I don't need the, I don't need the, um, the shirt or the doublet anymore, but I'm gonna wear it anyways just because it looks good. So let's see here. I am almost ready. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's shield surf this if we can. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. leave me alone. Actually, do you guys like how the series is going so far? I mean, I really should be talking more, but, um, well, I just don't have a lot that's interesting to talk about, I guess. Temple of Time. Nothing in there.
This is some more music from that pack. <laughs> this is a really good remix, honestly. I actually have no clue how this remix goes, I just know the basic melody. I have gotten four spirit orbs. I would like a heart container. This music is so much better than the music in the base game. I mean, like, some of the parts, like Serenade and Water, felt a little bit out of place, but it was the cold area, so... done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> I'm gonna stay quiet for some of these cutscenes. Most of them, probably. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy 
and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda and the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. 
From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here is the paraglider, just as I promised. With that, you should be able to fly safely off the cliffs surrounding the area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Blink, you must save. I rule. Already. Ah, another fancy bow. Okay. So there is a Korok seed at the top of the temple. So, let's get that. And then, I think that will be the episode. Man, I just, I can't get over this music, because this is like an awesome remix. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, we'll set out. Gotta get the thumbnail shot. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. That's that for now. See you next episode when we depart the Great Plateau and leave for somewhere. Probably Concrete Village. But we'll see. Man, just look at that sunrise. This game is like gorgeous on the emulator. Okay. Enough ranting and rambling. What's the word? Rambling. That's the word. Okay. See you guys. Bye.